We want to solve the absolute value equation. To do this, we'll first have to isolate the absolute value on one side of the equation, and then we'll have to set up and solve two equations based upon the absolute value principle, and then we should check our solutions. Looking at the equation that we have, we have six times the absolute value of the quantity 2x plus 3 plus 3 equals 63. So we need to undo this addition here and this multiplication here before we set up and solve two equations. So we'll undo the addition first by subtracting 3 on both sides. So we'll have 6 times the absolute value of 2x plus 3, this would be 0, equals 60. And now we'll undo this multiplication by dividing both sides by 6. So we have the absolute value of 2x plus 3 equals 10. And now thinking about the numbers that would satisfy this equation inside the absolute value, we know the absolute value of 10 is equal to 10, but we also know the absolute value of negative 10 is equal to 10. So we'll use this principle to set up and solve our two equations. The first equation, we're going to have 2x plus 3 equal to positive 10, this is 10 here, or the second equation, we'll have 2x plus 3 equals negative 10, this negative 10 here. Looking at this first equation, it's just like the given equation here, except we drop the absolute value. And then for the second equation, we drop the absolute value and change the sign. And now we'll solve these two equations. So we'll subtract 3 on both sides. This would be 0. So we have 2x equals, this would be 7. Divide both sides by 2. We have x equals 7 halves. Or second equation here, we'll subtract 3 on both sides. This would be 0. So we have 2x equals negative 13. Divide both sides by 2. So we have x equals negative 13 halves. So we have two solutions, x equals 7 halves or x equals negative 13 halves. Now it is recommended that we go back and check these solutions, but I already have and they do work. I hope this was helpful.